Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch Nuke solo. But before we get into that, I got a couple things I need to tell you, and they're very important. First of all, when it comes to launching nukes, doing it solo is way easier than doing it with multiple people. When you do it with multiple people, more robots spawn in than if you were doing it solo. When you're doing it solo, very few robots spawn in. Now, second of all, once you've launched a nuke and if you intend on fighting the Scorched Queen, you are going to want to have fewer people with you than more. Um, same thing, the less people go to fight the Queen, uh, the less buffs she actually gets. But uh, I haven't been able to kill the queen yet because I keep getting screwed over. People in my lobby will go down and join the event. However, they just hide in the fucking trenches the whole time uh, waiting for me to kill the queen. And by that time, she's invincible. When I first arrive there and it's just me and her, I take my two-handed melee weapon to her and her health comes down very, very quickly until the people join. And then they just, you know, go AFK, hide, and hope that they will get part of the reward. So... If you want the rewards from fighting the queen, uh, you're gonna want to fight her, you know, just fight her or don't show up because you're gonna make her invincible and you're not gonna get the goddamn uh, things anyways. You're not gonna get any rewards. Second of all, uh, one thing that will cause the queen not to land as much is if you put down a base, which is a good idea. If you put down a base though and it has turrets and all that good stuff, she will stop landing as often and that will screw you over too in the end. So guys, let's get into the video. First thing you need to do is start doing the Enclave quests up until this point um, when you start the quest I Am Become Death. Now I show you how to do all these quests in a previous video, I will put a card to that previous video up in the top right corner right now. Click on that if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but if you're here, um, launching the nuke is just moments away, all you gotta do is, uh, you know, do the little quest part here where you gotta look at the different posters and listen to Modus, and then you have to go to Mama Deuce's. Uh, or Mama Dulce's, rather, and then uh, there you need to find the little hidden base, which I show you right here. You go underground, and by the way, you need the key card to get in here, which you find at Mama Deuce's uh, uh, processing in an office on the middle floor. It's going to be on a desk. So you get the key card, you come down here, you have to find the terminal that lets you know about the robots, blah, blah, blah. Now we are at the point where we want to hunt down the key card and the codes. And I'm going to be talking while I'm recording here, so this is live. So I will talk to you again after the video. Okay, so now what we need to do is retrieve the new codes. And it's very easy. You don't have to just go randomly looking for uh, codes that happen to spawn. We can uh, activate a mission that will put a waypoint on, you know, the... Uh, Scorch that will be carrying the code. I want to check and see if I got my jetpack in. So now we want to retrieve our codes, and to do that, all we have to do is go on this computer and we can activate a quest which will put a waypoint on the code's location. Uh, we'll get to the key card in a minute. But right now, I'm working on Bravo, so I have three codes right now. Anyways, I'm just going to activate this. There you go, there's a quest. Okay, so let's look at the map and we can locate where our code is so he's down here by the way it's easiest to locate because we're going to we're gonna look for the code in an area which means there's gonna be a yellow circle so you can see that on my compass right now shows up as a circle with a hollow uh, inside but anyways just by looking at it I can uh, follow my arrow and easily find it that way if you ever get confused these are so easy to find, especially when you activate the mission. Oh my god, I'm a horrible shot. I'm a horrible shot. Potato. This gun feels weird to shoot for some reason. I'm used to my handmade rifle. I miss my handmade rifle, man. I got one, two, three, four codes now. Alright. We just gotta do this four more times. Before we go and retrieve this code, however, I'm gonna go check and see if I got the jetpack in. Shit. Nope. Whatever. I'll find it anyways. Oh, there he is. Uh. While I was retrieving the codes for Bravo, I actually learned from a friend that you can launch again from any silo that you launched from before. So I launched from Alpha earlier, so I can launch from there again. This time I only need to bring a key card, I don't actually have to type in the code. But when it comes time, I will show you how you enter the code and all that good stuff. 
Now that you have all eight of your codes, we are gonna to wanna to figure out what the code actually is for whatever silo you're going to, whether it be A or B. I'm going to A again. But uh, yeah, we wanna figure out what the code is before we retrieve the key cards. That way we know how many key cards we need to retrieve, uh, depending on what this website gives us in codes. Uh, let me explain. First, we're going to Nuka Crypt. You're gonna do that on your computer. And what you need are three things. You need the eight codes, of course. They have numbers and letters. And we also need the keyword. Um, we're not gonna get the full keyword. We're just gonna get several letters. And as you can see, I'm going for alpha again, but you need that. So you type it in on this website where it says key letters. That's where you're gonna type the keyword that you found on the wall. And you're gonna put underscores uh, in the places that come up blank. So looking at your keyword on the wall, you're gonna see a blank letter, blank, blank, letter, letter, blank. It's gonna be different for everybody, but this is an example. Now in the place of those blanks, you're gonna put underscores when type the keyword into the website. So you can put underscore, letters, underscore, letter, letter, underscore. I use underscore because at the time when I was using the question marks, I wasn't getting any codes back. The website was informing me that I was wrong or something, but underscores worked fine just for me. So once we have that put in, we're gonna put in the letters. Now we're gonna look at our codes and you can see there are letters dash number. So in the letter spot, we're gonna start from the top, work way to the bottom. We're gonna put in the letters. And then after that, under numbers, we're gonna put the numbers of course. And then you solve and sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it'll say no results found or something. Just play with it. I found that underscore works better when putting the key letters. But uh, yeah, at this point I have three solutions. One of them is correct, the rest aren't. So that means I'm gonna wanna get three key cards. Now the key card retrieval is just like retrieving the codes, you gotta go back on the same terminal. This time you put in key card and it will show you where your key card is currently located. It's gonna be held by a cargo bot followed by several vertibots. Um, the vertibots are a joke, you can shoot them down pretty easily, but the cargo bot is a little harder to shoot down. I bring a gauze rifle just for a little more power. But of course, um, having more friends here, it doesn't get a buff or anything. Uh, just go ahead and try to shoot it down. Now, one thing I do is I wait for the cargo bot to fly over a enemy base of some kind or something. Uh, I let this happen at Grafton Prison and the super mutants shot down everything really, really fast. Um, I didn't interfere or kill the super mutants off. It was very quick and I was done. But yeah, I had to do that three times, of course, because again, I have three solutions. Now, when you're shooting down the cargo bot, you don't need to worry about it running away in a straight line. However, it has done that to me. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to start flying around in a circle. Uh, that way you actually have a chance of shooting it down. If it does just take off in a straight line, what I found to work was just quit to the main menu and come back in. That's what I had to do anyways. It's time to prep now. We want to bring in food and water because going hungry or thirsty while down in the silo sucks really bad. Um, for weapons, we're gonna bring some two-handed melee weapons like the Troubleshooter's Grognak, Grognax Axe. I forget how to pronounce this fucking name. But uh, we're also bringing in some guns as well, but mostly the two-handed weapons. And for that, we're gonna be turning on the uh, Slugger perks along with the Martial Artist so we can swing faster and of course deal more damage. And that's very important. The two-handed weapons are gonna help us most. Uh, guns, not so much. And I'm also gonna bring Strong back because I wanna be able to carry. Now we need lock pick three, so make sure you bring in all three pick lock perks. Also for our two-handed weapons, we wanna turn on makeshift warrior. And we also need to turn on all of our hacking perks because we need hacker three. And we also want to turn on first aid just because we're bringing in a lot of stim packs and we need all the stim pack juice that we can get. Now for power armor, I'm bringing in the ultra side power armor that you get for completing the Brotherhood of Steel quests and I will make a video about that uh, in a little bit so if you see a card in the top right hand corner of your screen you can click on that and I'll bring you to my video but if it's still early it's not going to be there yet but anyways uh, yeah that's it for prep now we are going to the silo itself and we're going to alpha remember and when we get here, um, this place is just in a shack. We don't really need to kill anything or do much to get to the elevator that we're gonna be taking. But uh, you do not need a key card. All you need is to be general. 
there was like a rumor going around about that but anyways once you're down here what you want to do first is hack this computer here and you need hacker 3 like I was telling you once we have this hacked uh, what we're going to do is turn all the turrets against each other. So you go into turret control and then you're going to see remove targeting restrictions. We want to remove targeting restrictions and that's going to turn all the turrets against each other as well as their masters. Now that that's done, we are going to make our way down the hallway. You're going to get shot at by the turrets. Just leave them. You want them to destroy the robots, but we need to destroy these two turrets. They're going to screw with us the most while we're trying to go on this computer here. Now, what we want to do is select Security Protocol Security Station Alpha. That will tell us uh, what we need to do next. And all this, by the way, if you already know what you're doing, you don't have to do any of this. You can go straight and get the bio card and all that stuff, but I'll show you anyways. So now that we have that done, we're going to see this waypoint here taking us to this computer and we need to go on it. And what we need to do is select Operating Instructions and that will tell us to get the bio card, blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to go back down this hallway, do what I'm doing here. And the turrets are still shooting at us and the robots. Now we need to step into this little scanner, which means we need to get out of our power armor. Um, very easy. All you got to do is get scanned by this thing. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and pick up the bio card, which is laying on this table here or the other table. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's somewhere in the silo. It'll be uh, mostly in living quarters on a table or something so just remember that we can hop back in our power armor and we're going to go back to that terminal that we first clicked on and you're going to slide that key card and then you're going to go back on the terminal itself and then you're going to click fabricate biometric id now that that's done we're going to make our way back to the area where we started and as you can see the turrets are fighting the robots so they don't care about us and we're going to go and slide the card here and as you can see it's going to bring down the laser grid cock blocking us from the next section so now that that's done we can cross over and we are in the next stage officially all right we're gonna come to this hallway here and we're gonna make our way all the way to the end and it's kind of a bend so watch out for turrets on the ceiling as well as these ibots are gonna try to be mean to us but we don't let that happen because we're not pushovers but anyways you're gonna turn into this door here and there's gonna be a couple mr gutsies uh, could be a kernel gutsy, but anyways, so we're going to be hacking this computer here and all we need to do is turn off the targeting restrictions for the turrets and you can also uh, turn off the targeting restrictions for the lead engineer if you want. I don't bother just because the turrets are enough. So now that the robots are too busy with each other instead of us, we can just make our way over to a terminal. However, we need to destroy this turret first because it's going to be shooting us in the back as soon as it's done doing whatever the hell it's doing since it's turned on everything else. But uh, yeah, here's the terminal. We don't need to hack it or anything. All we need to do here is shut down the reactors. And right now we need to patch up some pipes. So we're going to use our ears to listen out for pipes. By the way, you can turn off the turrets. Uh, all the way just so that you can hear the pipes but um they're gonna be everywhere and what you need to do is patch them up and then you can turn on the reactor it gives that as an optional thing but we don't want to wait around for the timer to run out to proceed all we have to do is head back through the arches and then take a right however i just chose to lock pick this uh, so i can show you um now somebody told me that by lock picking that door that i just lock picked you can bypass the whole reactor part. However, when I did it on the uh, run before this, um, it didn't work and I still had to do the reactor. Hopefully uh, it wasn't bad information, but I feel like it was. But anyways, to continue, we just got to destroy these cores and this will knock out the next laser door. Um, however, before you do that, go ahead and hack this computer so you can turn the turrets on their masters once again. And we're going to keep doing that just to make things easier. But uh, yeah, right here we're supposed to knock out some more cores. However, we don't have to do that. We can go to this door here and lockpick it. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and turn the turrets on the other robots again. Now, uh, this is again another level 3 lock. Um, they're all going to be level 3s, don't worry. But uh, yeah, once you lockpick this, you're going to run through and find some more cores to destroy. They're all along the walls, and we got to destroy them all. Now, destroying enough, we'll unlock this red laser door, um, which will give us access to the rest of the cores uh, that we need to actually destroy in order to proceed. 
But at this point, I had to turn off the turrets, or deactivate them rather, and this was because all the turrets were sitting above these last remaining cores that we have to destroy to shut down that door. Now, we're going to proceed down this tunnel, and we are coming to the last parts, and uh, we're going to come to this place. Now, there's going to be a couple turrets, along with a Mr. Gutsy or a Major Gutsy, but I'll go ahead and just smash these turrets and get rid of that Mr. Gutsy. And this guy's being an asshole. You see that? I have to shoot him. That's why we're bringing a gun too, by the way. Don't just rely on your melee weapons. But now that these guys are all dead, we can go ahead and uh, lockpick a door. See, these are the guys that I don't want to fight. But uh, yeah, you're going to lockpick this door here. And it's going to give us access to this level 1 computer um, that we're going to hack. And this is going to kill the sentry bot and all the other robots that are going to be a pain in the ass uh, during this next part. But uh, what I like to do is I like to get one hit in, um, especially on sentry bots or rubble brains, just because I like to collect their stuff, like their fusion cores. But uh, yeah, what we're looking for is a console with cores. However, we're going to be repairing cores instead of destroying them. But uh, yeah, here's me getting the hits in on them. Fuck those guys. I'm going to take the shit in a minute. But uh, yeah, here's that uh, little console command center area, and those two turrets are tearing each other up. But we're going to collect these cores, and we need to repair them. Now, hopefully you're watching this video up to this point before even entering this place, because uh, if you have some of the materials for crafting, um, this is going to be a lot easier for you, like it is for me. But anyways, I go ahead and block this door with my power armor just so that robots don't come up on my ass. Now we're going to go to quest items and we're going to repair those cores that we picked up and like I said hopefully you have the materials and we need circuitry and steel and that's all you need. Um, like I said go ahead and get the circuitry and stuff before coming here but uh, if you don't have the materials to repair these you can actually find them littered all over the place. Um, for starters there's one laying on that tinkerer's bench. But uh, yeah, now that we have these all ready to go, I'm going to head back. But first, I want to show you this core that's just sitting in this box. It's always here for me. Um, I do believe they have random spawns. But anyways, you can go ahead and plug the cores back in and go on the computer after I deal with that son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, just go on here, open the door, or press continue rather, and then open the door. The door is to your left by the way when you get off the computer just head through it and you're going to come to this hallway and you will see the nuclear missile right there it's beautiful. We're going to be launching this song bitch in a second but you're going to continue up these stairs here and we are coming to the command center that's why you see the fancy wood on the walls and such. But uh, yeah now we're here and we're going to hack the last computer we have to hack in this entire place. Thank God for that, but we're going to go ahead and turn the turrets against their masters once again, and if you're not getting shot in the back by the launch master or whatever the hell he's called, we're going to do that successfully and easily, but you head up here to initiate the pre-launch crap, and you'll see that in one second it's at the bottom of this list here. So initiate launch prep, and you're going to have to protect these robots that come out, but this is where our turrets come in handy because... Robots start coming out of the woodworks and we have to deal with them, but you want to go ahead and deal with some of the turrets. Some of them are just not placed well for us, but uh, if we take out the right ones, we're going to have a very easy time about this. And uh, yeah, we have five of these dudes later on, and as you can see, they're pretty high in health. One of them, I think, is at like half health. But uh, that's all there is to it. These turrets keep the robots busy. The robots keep the turrets busy. And everybody's happy basically but yeah that's all we have to do now it's time to plug in our nuclear key card that we got way earlier and we're gonna type in the code now this was my second time launching from this area so I got this cool notification saying I didn't have to type in the code and worry about that crap but of course I have the recording from when I first launched from alpha and I had a little trouble just because I had three possible codes, so I had to get three key cards, and I got the first two wrong. Naturally, the last code was the correct code, but uh, luckily I had enough key cards. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. It's that simple. I'm going to be bombing the fissure that uh, causes the queen to spawn in. Um, I did try another fissure to see if the queen would come if I hit any fissure, but of course she doesn't. Uh, and I think that's because it would be too easy. Uh, the reason why I was trying another fissure was because there was a bunch of those ground-to-air missile launchers. 
But that's it guys, that's all you have to do. Like I said in the beginning, doing this solo is far easier than it is with other people. After these launches, I tried with more people and it sucked. There were way more robots in the beginning and I did not have a good time with that. But that's it guys, I hope this video helps. I hope you found it informative. If you do, please give a like, it helps out a lot. In fact, you guys have been doing so and you've been helping my channel out tons. Now, when it comes to launching nukes, remember doing solo is a lot easier than doing it with multiple people. Even though you want to do it with your friends, if you do, just go ahead and do it with your friends. But it's going to be harder. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. In future videos, I will be showing you how to get the Ultra Sight armor. You have to do the Brotherhood quest and all that stuff. And I'm also going to be showing you how to kill the Queen solo. And I know this is possible because I experienced the buff firsthand when I was fighting the queen without anybody there and I did a ton of damage and then people started showing up just to hide and wait for me to finish off the queen, which I couldn't because their presence was giving her a big fat buff. So if you're one of those guys, you're an asshole and I don't like you very much. No, I don't. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Subscribe for future videos, and as always, I will see you in the next video.